Now, talking about head gasket sealing, as I mentioned, this is something pretty dear to my heart. Uh, back in my own drag racing days, basically we were always limited by how much power we could produce by how much boost we could actually hold inside the engine. So uh, the head gasket integrity, lifting the cylinder head off the block and allowing that combustion pressure to escape, that became our limiting factor. Now, of course, you're well ahead of the game here in that you are using proper billet products that have nice thick deck surfaces that are reliable and strong and aren't going to move around. But can you talk to us about the other technologies you've developed in order to improve that heat gasket integrity? A lot of it's just having this bore space of block compared to what what might be running in an import, we have a lot more bore space to work with. We have a lot more sealing surface right off the bat. We have big sleeve registers in these. We keep the bores pretty small, so it leaves a big steel register, which is very important on sealing a head gasket. Um, the rings in these things now and the registers they put in, the protrusion on the ring is almost, when you would look at it, you wouldn't think that it could even compress and seal, but we don't deal with water, so we don't have to. We don't have that factor involved, so we don't have to worry about water leaking into the cylinder. So you're talking about O-rings here, yes. so you've got an O-ring located on the top of the sleeve? row rings actually in the head and then we, we receive a groove the sleeve we leave the sleeves up so there is some there is some you know press so it holds the head gasket and then we're up to a 9 16 h11 stud that these things torque in the you know 150 plus range and and you're spreading that load all the way across 10 center studs so it's it's to the point now that that used to be our limiting factor. Now that we've we've almost gone overkill with what these things can hold for head gasket and for cylinder pressure, that now if you miss the tune-up, the head gasket's not going to be, it, it won't be your burst panel anymore. Your burst panel now is bending a rod, pulling rod bolts, cracking a crank. Everything now has gotten pushed to the short block, which has put all that, the, now we're trying to get make that stuff stronger because the head seal is just not an issue anymore no matter what. Now that technique that you're talking about there with the copper gasket, the O-ring and then a receiver groove, am I right in saying that's essentially the same sort of sealing technology they use in the likes of Top Fuel? Yes, that would be the same. And, and, and you know, it's, it's interesting because when we had smaller studs and you didn't have anywhere to work with, you, we came up with all kinds of double O-rings. Everybody was doing figure eights. You know, they would do O-ring on top of another and let them swedge. Um, you know, we went to a Kometic for a while. Um, they had some sealing rings that came out of Australia that's a, a very nice material, but it would actually, you would cut the head gasket out, the sealing ring would set on the deck, the head gasket would go around it, it would again stick up just enough to give that, that press, and that, that made our way through some small blocks and some smaller deck surface, smaller um, engines for a while, but we don't, we don't keep up with that market as much anymore because we're more into this billet big bore space market. I think the ceiling rings you're talking about there, we've used them ourselves, are aluminium bronze ring. Yes. Yep, and they worked very well for us for a long time. If you liked that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask questions, which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.